steps to being Brandon Lee. One, you gotta first be named Brandon Lee. Two, be born on May 4th, 1992 with an extremely large head. Sorry about that, mom. Three, be born to a mother who got a heart of gold and just pray that she got the Midas touch. Four, be born and raised in Southside Stockton in a cave full of hard rocks that were pressed to become gems. Five, be born with brown skin. This excessive amount of melanin will truly dictate much of your future. Be sure to remember these things. Six, be born with all of your limbs and then remove one. My fault, no, remove your father. No surprises here, refer back to step five. Seven, have abandonment issues. These will surely rear their ugly heads later. Eight, cling to your mother. She is the only form of consistency that you have ever known. Be sure to push all other men in her life away. She did not leave you just like he did. Refer back to step six. Nine, go to middle school and get yourself a girlfriend. 10, go to high school. That last girl didn't quite work out, so get a different girlfriend this time. Go ahead, Brandon. Hand out your heart to girls in a desperate attempt to avoid this painful agony that we call loneliness. Refer back to step seven, 11, repeat step 10 continuously. 12, pray for brighter days because it casts large shadows for your fears to hide in. 13, wear a mask to make you far more tolerable to the world. 14, don't forget to have a real complicated relationship with your stepfather. Argue with him repeatedly until these fists become your only form of expression. 15, buck up little boy room and ain't got depression. 16, dream of doing what no one in your family has ever done before, and then go do it. 17, go to college. Try to reinvent yourself to be the cool guy you always dreamed of being when you was in high school. <laughs> Way before I had these bills. 18, understand that there is no escaping reality are who you always have been no matter the location 19 face only this way now let's try that again 19 face only this way now let's try that one more time 19 face only this way. all right i think the easier way to explain this to y'all would be like this see when i was four years old my eight and a half month old sister Danielle Marie Gibson died in the car next to me due to heart failure. So death isn't something I really adopted, but more so grew myself into. And I can't help but think that my roots still lie six feet deep alongside her. And then my grandfather, the only father figure I've ever known three weeks before my high school graduation died of lung and liver cancer, rushing to a hospital next to his wife of 50 years in a graduation ceremony with only one seat left empty, never left me feeling so numb inside of my best friend. My brother Bernard Daniels, my freshman year of college, drowned in a levee two blocks behind our old neighborhood, running away from a rival gang. And I was 200 miles too far north to embrace his body before it ever turned cold, before he ever stopped breathing, before he he ever never returned home again 20 i wake up most mornings just to look myself in this mirror to see a reflection of a stranger this guy who i know resides inside but i'm too afraid i'm too scared and i'm far too fearful to finally unzip myself from my own skin to allow this world to see me uncovered nothing but dry bone raw meat and a barren soul just for this world to respond back saying hey yo brandon man we really appreciate your transparency and everything this is us you ain't never gonna be good enough. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. There's no more steps, but tons of questions like, who's Brandon Lee? Anyways. Bye.